So I just got off the phone with a potential client. They called in, they wanna make a video in the next four weeks for their gala. And the question is, can we do it? Let's talk about it. So the timeline is one of the areas I find most people underestimate in video production, how long it's gonna to take to go through all the phases. So I think it would be helpful to walk through the different phases in this video and explain why they take as long as they do. So first, let's define the different phases of production. In most cases, you're gonna have pre-production, production, and post-production. And as we walk through these phases, we're gonna see how these timelines shape up. Pre-production is one of the areas I would say is most difficult to predict the timeline for without knowing the scope or the goal of the project. And the reason for that is, is that it can vary so greatly how much we need to do in pre-production. For example, we get calls from companies all over the world that are trying to film in Philadelphia and want to source a local video crew. In those cases, pre-production timelines can be pretty short. What day is the shoot? What cameras do you need? how much of a crew, and especially if we're not in charge of the creative, if we're just literally bringing operators to get the right shot and maybe they have a remote director that we're gonna tether to through Zoom or an in-person director that's going to be advising on the content and knows what they wanna get, really we're just acting in a technical capacity and the logistics are very simple. The when, where, why, and how, and then we send a crew. Pre-production, one day. Now let's take a client that's doing a creative project that requires pre-interviews with stakeholders concept development, research and development, scripting, storyboarding, logistics, hiring talent. There's too many of them. All of those things not only take time to accomplish each as a task, but there's also a collaborative process, a back and forth, rounds of approvals, rounds of revisions, and all of that can really quickly expand your timeline. Take Suez, for example, where we created a brand film for their rebranding. When we did that, we actually signed off on the project knowing that we were probably going to film for a couple days. We were definitely going to script the story and we were going to edit it. And we knew that that final deliverable was going to be around 60 seconds to 90 seconds. What we didn't know is what the concept was going to be, where we were going to film it or how we were going to shoot it. That was all defined after signing the agreement in pre-production. We actually did research and development, pre-interviewed key stakeholders from Suez, asked them how they came to do redefining their brand and why they did that so that we could inform the concepts and the stories that we wanted to tell. Then we went back through a whole round of treatments where we presented different ideas. Their team then took those to their internal stakeholders. You can see how this process, just the back and forth is going to expand your timeline. So depending on what you're trying to create, you really wanna budget a lot of time in pre-production because proper planning prevents poor performance. I do like the way it sounds. We find filming is probably the easiest part because if we've done our work in the pre-production phase properly and gotten our approvals and everybody's aligned, then filming really just becomes a product of how many days we need to shoot, scheduling those shoot days, and then execute, right? Now, there's all kinds of logistical issues you can deal with. Of course, weather delays if you're filming outside, talent issues if we're supposed to film on a certain day, somebody doesn't show or can't make it anymore and reschedules. But for the most part, once you've defined what you need to film and how long it takes to capture it, you're usually looking at one to three to four days and you've got all of the content that you need and now you can move on to the editing phase. Well, that was easy. Looks like there's only one loose end now. So if we've done everything we're supposed to do in pre-pro and production, post-production is going to be the time that it takes to assemble everything. Well, we'll fix it in post. Generally, you're looking at a first cut in anywhere from two to three weeks, depending on your agreement. Then we're going to look for a cadence that makes sense for your organization. So some organizations can pledge that they're going to flip around feedback within a day or two, and that's required for shorter timeline projects. Organizations that have a bigger team, more stakeholders, you might want to give yourself four to five days so everybody has time to put in their feedback, agree on what the changes should be. And then we usually like a week to make that change. So if you look at that on a calendar, you're gonna see pretty quickly, if we need two to three weeks to make a first cut, you need two to five days to look at it. We need another week to make those changes. You're probably gonna need another two to five days to look at that. And then generally we're wrapping up the project on that third round of revision. That is how you get to this six to eight week average timeline for most productions. Not all projects have that kind of timeline. We get calls all the time, hey, we, ha we need this in two weeks. Hey, we need this in three weeks. Soup to nuts, complete. So when that happens, we see it as our responsibility to guide and advise and listen. 
We're going to take that information. We're going to try to direct a concept that actually makes sense, not just creatively and is going to give you that return on investment, but also matches your timeline goal and ensures that we're not over-promising and under-delivering and that we're actually hitting that goal. This is a good baseline so that as you're thinking about doing a video, maybe you've already had a bad video experience that really just felt chaotic and quick and hectic, and you want to think about planning better in the future, I hope this video really helps. If you like this content, like it. If you want other people to see it, please share it. And if you want to see more of this without having to think about it, please subscribe and help our channel grow.